I did a tweet on this and people were flipping out. When you load up Ableton, one issue with the new MacBooks, not the M1s, but the Intel-based MacBooks, fans just start going crazy. Every time I load up Ableton, the computer gets hot and the fans start going crazy. I found an app. It's called Turbo Boost Switcher. I got the pro version, but you can get a free version. This is a free app. The reason I like it is because it stops your fans from going crazy when you load up Ableton. You should have seen the comments. Oh, don't do that. It's bad for your computer. It heats it up by turning off the fans and all this. Not true. Intel MacBooks, what they do is they have something called Turbo Boost. So you'll see in the specs, your base clock speed is 2.4 gigahertz, but it can boost up to 4.0. Turbo Boost Switcher turns off the ability for it to go up in processing power for immediate bursts of CPU. Why it's a good thing to turn that off is because Ableton generally doesn't rely on that turbo boost. It might rely on it when you first load a session, but the problem is this turbo boost stays on by default and it makes the fan spin up in Ableton and keeps them spinning because your computer's trying to have your processor ready for it to go under high load. It's this little icon right here. This is the pro version. It shows me what my CPU load is, what my fan speed is, and what my temperature is. All I do is I hit disable turbo boost. Wait a second, and the icon's gonna get a little slash line through it. I did this the other day, because I forgot how good it worked. And as soon as I disabled the turbo boost, when I loaded up Ableton, the fans were silent. I don't know how many of you guys load up Ableton and the fans are going crazy. Highly recommend that app, it's free. There's a paid version you can get to, but as soon as I downloaded that and started using it, night and day. As your session files get bigger, the fans will kick on, but your computer temperature will stay down because it's not enabling the turbo boost all the time. You will notice some performance lag. Like for example, if you're working in Ableton and you want to load up a YouTube video, you'll see the YouTube video lagging a little bit. Or if you want to open a bunch of other apps, you will see your computer performance lag. But when you're producing, the main thing you're doing is producing. So you shouldn't really care about if your email is running slow while you produce. So that's why I recommend Turbo Boost Switcher because it will not throttle your computer, but it will turn off Turbo Boost so it doesn't have bursts of performance, which you don't need when you're producing. Benefit of that, computer will run cooler, it'll last longer on battery, and less fan noise, especially if you're tracking and doing things like that. Turbo Boost Switcher Pro or Turbo Boost Switcher Free, highly recommended. Another thing, a lot of people talk about fan suppression apps. I don't recommend those. The reason being, if you turn your fans off or turn your fans down, your computer is overheating. Things like the thermal paste will harden. I don't know all the technical details, but let's put it this way. If your computer gets too hot, that's not a good thing. So I don't recommend turning off your fans and doing things like that because your computer will overheat. Turbo Boost Switcher Pro does not make your computer run hotter. It makes it run cooler by using less of the processing boosting, which Ableton, FL Studio, Pro Tools do not need. This isn't just a trick for Ableton. This also works with FL, Pro Tools, Reason, Cubase, whatever you use. How many of you guys have used Turbo Boost Switcher Pro or Turbo Boost Switcher? And what has been your experience with it? It does work well, especially when you're starting a session, but the fans do eventually come on, absolutely. You can't avoid that, but it keeps it running cooler for longer so the fans don't go crazy all the time. Yeah.